All right, welcome to this episode of Schofield's Outdoor Show. Today is February the 20th. We're back down here, San Jacinto River. Baby is sitting in the water waiting on me. So we're going to go back down here and see if we can catch some more fish. Y'all stay tuned. Schofield's Outdoor Show. All right, everybody, we done made it below the dam. The water is not running as much as it was. So it slowed down tremendously. We still got a little water movement. We just put one pole in the water. We're gonna drop a, a couple of more and we're gonna see if we can locate these fish where they are right now. So we don't have a lot of current. I like good current, but this is kind of slow, but we'll still see if the fish are biting. We just had that big cold front come through yesterday. It was really cold yesterday and we're going to see if that impacted the fish bite we don't know but we're going to see we're going to drop them down and we're just going to go fishing that's what it's all about y'all stay tuned let's roll it back here Pecking, pecking, pecking. We want you to take over, baby. Take over. You talking about some fillets? Come on, man. Just got down here, sticking them. You know, a little slow, but I got three already, so keep hammering at it. See if we can get us another. I didn't even see that jump. Kitty, 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 kitty. Yes, sir. And I turned around, my rod was just a nice cat, bro. He got hooked of it. See, let me show y'all something. Let me show y'all something real quick. See all those boats up there? Everybody's up there. Front. People are attracted to boats. They don't rely on their skills. They don't rely on, you know, just fishing, trying to figure out how to fish a bite. They're attracted to boats. So since all the boats are up there, everybody assumes that everybody's catching fish, so they all pile up there together. Now, later on, we might move up there and try to fish in spots that I see those guys are not fishing in. But as of right now, we're catching fish back here. The water's running back here the same way it's running up there. I don't want to be in all of that crowd, but you know, and I'm catching fish back here. So just, just be aware that you don't always have to go sit next to somebody that's fishing because they got their boat part. They might not know what they're doing. Anyway. That joker got off and dropped back in the water. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. I'll take that. I'll take that. That joker got off of there. Hey, whatever you do, give him a sporting chance. We ain't using no net on the regular size. So he had a sporting chance. He got away. Bless him. I'm joking. This one was bent over. Might be smaller catfish, smaller. Well, that's a good sign if we got small ones. That means they like our bait. But man, they bent both of these rods. Got off. Buddy fell in the boat.
He got off him. But he fell in the boat for legs, for legs, for legs. Yep. Let's keep doing it. Look at my other rod. Whoa. Whoa. Come here, boy. Look at that. I think the other one got off. Oh, we still got him. Can't come down here, pawpaw fishing, fishing like your grandfather used to fish. Sit in one spot for hours and hours and hours and don't catch nothing and say the fish wasn't biting. Man, I'm telling you right now, I probably moved around eight or nine different times, just moving to where I find the fish that are actively biting. They're all down here, but a certain group, they might not be biting. I try 18 feet of water, 23 feet of water, 10 feet of water, nine feet of water, Right now I'm in 21 feet of water and we just doubled up catfish bite. So you just got to move around when you're down here. There's a lot of people that were down here fishing today and a lot of people didn't catch anything. A couple people maybe caught two or three fish, but man, I just move and I move and I move and I move. You might pick up four here, pick up three here, pick up two there, but I just keep moving, you know? And then once you just get them, just keep picking up fish. That makes the difference between you coming home with four fish, 10 fish, or 20 fish. So, you know, hey, you come out here, you spend your time, your money to come out here, you wanna produce, do like I do, just keep moving, keep moving till you find them, grind them till you find them. from all that come untangled is entanglement. Yep. I'm telling you, man, I'll show you how to catch these fish. You just got to move around. Play with it. Keep moving until you get them. Get back out there and see if we catch us another. All right, let's see how much damage we done. Oh, yeah, 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 y
one. Come here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ten. Ouch, ouch. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen catfish this time, people. I mean, it was really slow. It was a lot of people that really didn't catch nothing today. And we hit them for fifteen, so like I said, you gotta move around, grind them till you find them, you know? All right, what you think about that? Look, we're getting ready to clean all these fish. Uh, we had a good time today. I uh, met a good guy, said he he watched my show all the time. I think his name is Sam. Uh, me and Sam chopped it up a little bit. He was trying to catch some fish. I think he was out here with his wife. But anyway, hello to you, brother. I appreciate you watching the show. Thank you so much. But uh, so we're gonna fillet these catfish, put them in the bag, gonna take it to the house. Thank you for watching the Schofields Outdoors show. And like always, God bless you.